Guys, I'm sorry to say, but Lori Strode, she just has to go. We're done with her arc. Hey, what's up, guys? Thank you guys so much for clicking on another video. My name is Joel, and in today's video, we are going to be discussing my 10 wishes uh, for the Halloween TV series. This is basically my wish list of what I want to see and what I don't want to see in this Halloween TV series. Before we get into this video, though, make sure to hit that subscribe button and leave a like because it surely does help the channel. And according to my analytics, the people who are viewing my videos are not really subscribed, so... Come on, hit the subscribe button and help a brother out. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into the 10 wishes. So coming in at number one, I don't want Laurie Strode involved at all. Or at least keep Laurie Strode to a minimum. I don't know, guys. I think, I, I really don't see how you could do anything else with the Laurie Strode character. We got Laurie Strode when she was 17. We got Laurie Strode when she was a mom in H2O. We got old woman Laurie Strode in the Blumhouse trilogy. I don't know. I mean... If they can find some way to pull it off, I mean, hey, we've never seen Laurie Strode go to college. Um, we know that the Halloween TV series is supposed to set one year after the events of 78, according to the rumors that are circling around. They could possibly say that Laurie Strode went off to college and they can never show her again. Or they want to just show Laurie Strode, show her in college, show how Halloween night affected her, how it's impacting her college life, whatever. Honestly, though, for me, I don't want Laurie Strode involved in the story whatsoever and really keep her arc to a minimum. Maybe just a mention here and there. Maybe they can even do a flashback to the ending of Halloween 78 when she was like, is that the boogeyman? <clears throat> they can show that at the first episode of the series and that can be our Laurie Strode cameo and they really don't touch upon her at all for the rest of the series. Now coming in at number two, my second wish for the Halloween TV series is having the series be set at Smith's Grove Sanitarium. Now I know according to the leaks and rumors, the Halloween TV series is supposed to be set at a maximum security prison. Now, that also sounds like a fantastic idea. Michael going, you know, his life in prison after he gets caught at the end of Halloween Night 78. Although, I do want more of Smith's Grove Sanitarium to be explored. We haven't really seen Michael's life at all in Smith's Grove. I mean, I know they kind of had it set in Smith's Grove in Halloween 6 with the whole uh, end of the second act going to the third act. But really, I just really want this series to be... Uh, set at Smith's Grove. Um, I think it was one of the scripts, one of the canceled scripts. I think it was probably all, either Halloween Retribution, um, which was the sequel to Halloween uh, Resurrection, or it possibly was um, Halloween Returns. I'm not sure which one it was off the top of my head. But one of the canceled scripts had it being Michael on death row, and when they were about to execute him, he escapes and he just causes havocs on Smith's Grove. So, yes, I would like to see them somehow emulate that into the Halloween TV series. They don't gotta do it entirely, but somehow include this setting in the Halloween TV series, and that would be awesome. Now, somewhat obvious wish, and an obvious wish for many others, going to my number three spot, I wanted to have the 70s and 80s feel that we had from Stranger Things. Yes, guys, I want that Stranger Things feel in this series. Now, we know they can pull it off. They definitely had the 80s aesthetic in the Stranger Things TV series um, from seasons 1 through 4. Um, so they can definitely pull it off, and we know that they can pull it off uh, as we've seen in the Halloween Kills flashback. That was set back in Halloween night of 1978 in Hawkins and uh, Haddonfield Police Department were basically hunting down Michael. Now they can emulate that with the TV series if it's also being set in Halloween of 1979, a year after the original events of 78. They can definitely pull it off and I really want them to pull it off. Just give me that feel with the characters. Um, give me some young characters. Some young characters like Laurie, some, some like late teens like i want some 16 17 year olds maybe even heck give me some 15 year olds in that series pause no diddy um <laughs> but yeah please um just I, I really want that vibe now this kind of ties into my number three spot going to my number four spot we need to have some new protagonists almost like the core four from scream five and scream six now, like I said at the beginning of the video, Laurie Strode's arc is done. I mean, if this set off after 78, Annie and Linda are already dead. Laurie Strode is going to be off, gone somewhere. We need some new protagonists. And I really want these protagonists to be kind of almost like a core four. I'm not saying we should get four new protagonists. Please bring like seven or eight. Shoot, add to the body count. But I really want an established like core four team. 
um, of Friends, kind of like, you know, Scream and then the Stranger Things, how I was tying it back into my third point. Characters, I really want them to feel like Stranger Things. The whole group in Stranger Things with Elle and, you know, Dustin, Mike. I just want I just want that feel with the Halloween TV series, if you guys know what I mean. I want them to have, like, a lasting impact. Characters like, you know, Mike and Dustin from Stranger Things. I really want these characters to have stakes, and I really want these characters to matter to the story. I don't want them to be throwaway characters. You can add those throwaway characters for the kill count, but I want an established core for that we can have from, like, seasons one through how many seasons they ever want to do with the Halloween TV series. Heck, bring them in with the tie-in movies. Bro, set them up in the Halloween TV series and lead them in to the freaking, bring them into the spinoff films, you know, that would be great also. Now coming into my fifth spot on the topic of characters, I want Dr. Loomis to have a supporting character role in this film. Now Dr. Loomis has always had a supporting character role in the Halloween franchise, but he really wasn't up there with Laurie Strode. Now, I'm not saying up there in Lord Strode in terms of character because he's surely up there. They're the core three of the Halloween franchise. They're the big three, basically. But I'm saying in terms of like screen time and whatnot. I know Donald Pleasance has more screen time than Jamie Lee Curtis, but it never really felt like how Lori Strode was hand in hand with Michael and sort of a way. Dr. Loomis was always there investigating, but I really want them to really go into the backstory of Loomis. I want them to basically flesh out his character even more. And, you know, rest his soul, Donald Pleasance, they can pl bring Tom Jones Jr. back in the makeup for Dr. Loomis and really show what his early life was working with little kid Michael in the sanitarium. And then they can show him after Michael's escape or causing havoc in the sanitarium after he gets executed. Um, but yeah, shoot, I'm, I might do a video about my, my ideal Halloween TV series, how I would have it set. Because I really like the Smith's Grove sanitarium idea that they had with one of the canceled scripts. So, you know, I might implement that to my own idea. But, yeah. Now, this one is going to be kind of controversial. Maybe not. But coming into my number six spot, I want a Halloween atmosphere with snow. You guys know I've been dying for a horror film that is set during the winter. I know Halloween is not set during the winter. It's during the fall. But, but, up in the north, in some northern states, and they can include this, I'm pretty sure it happens in Illinois also. Certain Halloween seasons, it gets super cold up there and it's super chilly that they start having snow during Halloween. Now, we haven't seen this happen into the Halloween franchise. It's always like a nice fall, um, hot night, if I should say. Um, but they really never showed that snow that they usually get up there, up north. Now, please cl clarify me if you're up from north in the comments down below. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they do get snow on certain Halloween during the fall um, up there, up in north. That would really be cool. Just imagine the blood being casted onto the snow. Michael escaping Smith's Grove. Going now, and they have like a Halloween 2018 montage when he's finally fresh out, got his mask, his coveralls on, going through the streets of Haddonfield causing havoc. Shoot, bring the Elrods back into the Halloween franchise. Um, but yeah, it's just like stuff like that, the little stuff with like the blood on the snow really can elevate this show. And in my opinion, it would look really great on screen if done right. Now, I mean, I already kind of talked about this a little bit, but coming into my number seven spot, I want them to take inspiration from some canceled Halloween scripts. Yes, I already mentioned Halloween Retribution. I believe it was when uh, Michael was set in Smith's Grove when he's going to be on death row. Bring in some Halloween Returns. We know characters, they were going into um, Smith's Grove, basically um, investigating like Michael Myers and whatnot. And Michael Myers is in Smith's Grove. And I believe it was also winter in the Halloween Return script. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm probably off. I got to do some more research, to be honest. But based off my prior knowledge and prior research from a while back, I think that's the case. A group of friends were going in to Smith's Grove. Michael was in there. They were investigating and they get off one by one until the final girl basically comes out on top. And even in the Halloween Retribution script, man, we were going to have John Tate come back and basically have a, a off a standoff from with John Tate and Michael because you know Laurie Strode at the end of at the beginning of Resurrection she got killed so basically this is going to be like John's revenge story and it would have been kind of cool because at the end supposedly I think Michael was supposed to be 
was supposed to get impaled or his head chopped off by like a helicopter or something. I'm not sure, but it was some wild stuff. This is a TV series. Go as wacky as they want. Don't make it too campy. But at the same time, bring in, bring in that entertainment, bring in that pleasure. We know we get entertainment off of Michael just going around slashing, but just bring in that flavor in it. Bring some creativity in it. That's all I want to say. So yeah, with those canceled scripts, I loved some of those canceled scripts, like especially the Halloween Return script. Man, we, we missed out on some huge opportunities with some of these canceled scripts. So this is their perfect time in different episodes to implement these ideas, in my opinion. Now, this is probably my top wish um but yeah going into my number eight spot bring back john carpenter to direct an episode or two if this series is supposed to be set in the 70s no other man than the man himself who started it all john carpenter who knows how michael should act how haddonfield as a place should feel how the 70s should feel he literally directed the first film, which was set in 78. If this was going to be set in 79, bring back John Carpenter. I don't see why they wouldn't. John Carpenter, hes it's not like he's directing a big blockbuster horror film anymore. This is just a nice 40, 50 minute episode that he can probably easily do. They're probably going to bring back John Carpenter anyways to do the score for the series. They might as well bring him back to direct a few episodes um, because it would be, it just be nice, you know, John Carpenter coming back to the Halloween franchise, directing a few episodes, really back to, really basically back to form with the original. And it would be kind of cool in my opinion. Now coming in at ninth place on my 10 wish, um, go into Michael's backstory a little bit. You know, little Michael, I don't mean backstory on how he started getting killed, um, why he killed Judith. That should be a mystery. That should stay a mystery at all, all means. They shouldn't explain that at all. Um, but just, I want to see how little Michael was in Smith's Grove. Like I was talking about earlier with Dr. Loomis, show how they interacted. You know, Dr. Loomis being his psychiatrist and Michael being the patient. I really want to see little Michael, what he was doing up all those, all, all that time in the 15 years that he was in Smith's Grove. I really want to see that in the TV series and it can be done. Um, I know they've done it a bit with the Halloween 1978 TV cut and maybe even in ha the Halloween 2 TV cut or maybe, I think, no, it was... They did it in Halloween too, for sure. But I think they also did it in the Halloween 78 TV cut. Just, just expand on that a little more, basically. That's all I'm trying to say. Now, coming in at my 10th spot, I want this show to really focus on Haddonfield Police Department, Sheriff's Department, really investigating Michael, a buddy cop chase. Now, at the time of me recording this video, rest in peace, Charles Cyphers. Um, he passed away, I think, yesterday or maybe this morning by the time this video is coming out. But rest in peace to Charles Cyphers. He unfortunately passed away. He played Sheriff Brackett. And Sheriff Brackett was a really good character in Halloween and Halloween 2. And really, they really, in the earlier films, they dived into like the Haddonfield Sheriff's Department and the Police Department's really investigating, trying to track down Michael. Now we can have that same style teaming up with Dr. Loomis in the series. That would just be great. And also, I kind of think that would be a nice tribute to Sheriff Brackett, Charles Cyphers. And it would just be really fitting for the themes of the Halloween TV series and the aesthetic, you know? I think that would be really cool. But yeah, guys, I mean, that was my 10 wishes for the Halloween TV series. Please let me know what you guys thought about this in the comments. Don't be afraid to send me down your 10 wishes for the Halloween TV series because I would really love to know them. Without further ado, here on Menacee Studios, where it's horror all day, all the time. I'm Joel. Peace out.